بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أبنائي وبناتي طلبة الفرقة الثانية بكلية تجارة جامعة كفر الشيخ مادة محاسبة شركات الأموال السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته دي محاضرة الأسبوع الرابع من شهر إبريل اللي هو بتاريخ 27 إبريل 2020 ويمكن دي تكون المحاضرة الأخيرة طبقا لتعليمات السيد وزير التعليم العالي النهاردة هنتكلم على الأسهم الممتازة Today إن شاء الله we're going to talk about the preferred stock and you are going to differentiate between preferred stock and the common stock uh, We mentioned before preferred stock uh, are uh, those preferred stock are those stock which have some preference comparing with the common stock the referred stock has contractual provision that gives priority of the referred stock over the common stock in a certain areas. The first is distribution of earning, which call it dividends. So the referred stock have the rights to take their dividends before distributing dividends on the common stock. The second privilege or advantage for preferred stock as the assets and the event of the liquidation at the time of the liquidation the preferred stock have the rights to take their money uh, first before the common uh, stock uh, also preferred stock usually don't have voting rights in the general meeting Comparing with the common stock who have the right to vote in the general meeting. A preferred stock should be shown or classified first in the shareholders equity section in the balance sheet or the statement of financial, uh, financial position. And it should be identified separately from other stock and paid in capital. So we have uh, paid in capital preferred stock as separate element or separate item and the statement of financial position in the equity section and we have additional bid in capital or we call it bid in capital in excess of bar as a separate account in the balance sheet or the statement of financial position. Uh, dividends preference related to cumulative preferred stock or cumulative dividends as you will see. Uh, cumulative dividends or we call it cumulative preferred stock provides the preferred shareholders uh, the right to be paid both the current year dividends and the prior year dividends. The prior year dividends we call it dividends in arrear before distributing any uh, dividends to the common uh, stockholders, okay? So, for example, we might give a certain amount of money, like $5 per share, so we, in that, uh, at that time, we need, or in that case, you need to multiply the number of preferred stock times 5, or you might give it as a percentage of the uh, what we call it bar value of preferred stock so in that case you need to multiply the number of shares times the bar value times the percentage this to calculate the current year dividends the current year dividends and they should receive this money first or the different uh, this dividends before paying any dividends to the common stockholders however if the preferred stock are community preferred stock so if we didn't declare any dividends for one year it will be postponed as dividends in arrears to the second year or to the year in which the company will declare dividends as you will see in the example okay so preferred dividends not declared in a given period are called dividends in arrears as I mentioned just now. So dividends in arrears, dividends in arrears are not considered as liabilities. It is not a liability. But the amount of dividends in arrears 
should be disclosed in the notes and the financial statements. Let's take an example to make it clear for you. Okay. Assume that Abu Musa has 5,000 shares of 7% $100 bar value per share. Cumulative, very fair stock. Outstanding. Okay, so we have 5,000 shares and the bar value per share is 100. So the bar value of the of preferred stock is 500,000 and they deserve 7% of the bar value as dividends each year. Let's complete because they are cumulative, very fair to stock outstanding. Then the annual dividends is 35,000. How we calculate? 7% of the 100, it will be $7. $7 times 5,000, it will be 35,000. So this is a dividends for each year for preferred stock. Or in another way, you can say 5,000 times 100, it will be 500,000, times 7%, it will give you as well 35,000 dividends. If dividends were two years in arrears, so we have dividends in arrears for two years, they didn't, we didn't declare dividends for two years. The referred shareholders are entitled to receive the following before distributing any money, any dividends to the common stock or before paying any money or any dividends to the common stockholders uh, or shareholders. Number one, they deserve to take the dividends in arrears for the previous years. So for each year, they deserve 35,000 times two years, dividends in arrears, so it will be 70,000. Plus, the current year dividends, which is 35,000. So now, the preferred stock deserve to be paid dividends 105,000. Okay, so if we declared dividends this year, the preferred stock will take 105,000 dividends in arrears 70 plus the dividends for the current year before distributing any penny, any dollar to the common uh, stockholders, to the common stockholders. So what happened if? The company declared $150,000. Okay, so dividends declaration here, 150. So the preferred stock will take 105, and the remainder, which is difference between 150 and 105, it will be 45,000, will go to, to the common stock. Okay, well, what happened if they declared say 200,000, so 105 will go to to whom to prefer, and 95 will go to whom to the common stock. What happened if they declared, say, 5,000, uh, uh, sorry, 500,000, 500,000, 500,000, in that case, 105 will go to the preferred stock. And the difference between 500,000 and 105, which is 395, will go to common stock. So what happened if they uh, declare 100 only, 100,000? So what the 100 will go to preferred stock. And 5,000 will be dividends in arrears, will be postponed to the next year or the first year they declare dividends. We have another type of uh, cumulative preferred stock called cumulative participated preferred stock. What do we mean by cumulative participated? Cumulative, it means they have the right for dividends in arrears. If we didn't declare dividends this year, they have the right to postpone it as dividends in arrears to the next year. What do you mean by participated? The word participated. After, after uh, we pay dividends to, 
or calculate dividends for preferred stock then you need to calculate a similar percentage to common stock say for example we have seven seven percent here so after distributing seven percent to the common stock the preferred stock have the right to share a percentage of the remainder to participate with the remainder after uh, or what is left after paying a similar amount to common stock say for example here uh, assume that to make it clear for you assume that we have 20,000 uh, shares as common stock 20,000 and to make it easy we'll say well uh, the bar value per share is 100 as well so the bar value of the common stock will be 20,000 times 100 it will be 2 million 2 million dollars the bar value of the common stock will be 2 million 20,000 uh, shares times 100 so if we are going to give them 7% equal percentage to uh, the preferred stock so in that case they deserve 7% of 2 million, it will be 140, 140,000. So again, again, if the company distributed, distributed, say for, say for example here, 150, 105 to the preferred stock and pay it another 140 to the common stock so the total will be two, uh, 200 245 yes 250 if the company declared any money more than more than 245 okay 245 so the remainder what is left should be distributed in a certain percentage between preferred stock and the common stock say 20 percent for preferred and 80 percent for common or 30 percent for preferred 74 common it should be agreed percentage agreed a percentage well so assume that in that year in that year for example the company uh, declared 345 345 okay so first of all we are gonna to give 105 to prefer and then the common stock will take 7% of the bar value but 7% of uh, 2 million it will be 140 okay 140 well so how much left 140 plus 105,000 it will be 245 uh, 245 we declared to make it easy for for you 345 so we have 100,000 uh, left we distribute 20 percent it me it means 20,000 to the preferred and 80 percent it means 80,000 to the common so preferred stock will take 105 plus 20 the participator the participator it will be 125 for the common stock they will take the basic which is 140 2 million times 7 percent plus plus 80 it will be 220 okay so 220 plus 125 it will be yes 345 the question here well why you compare with 105 because you have dividends in arrears but in, in regular year if we didn't have dividends in arrears any money more than 35 plus 
140, it will be 175. Any, any declaration above 175 in normal years should be distributed according to the percentage. Is that clear? At any way, I know this uh, point this is not in your text, but I, 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 I like, I would like to you know, attract your attention that we have different types of uh, preferred stock like uh, cumulative participated a common, uh, uh, cumulative uh, participated preferred stock. Well, let's move to another point which is convertible preferred stock. What it means by convertible preferred stock? Conver convertible preferred stock, it means those stock have the right to be converted to common stock, okay, based on the agreement and the contract. Okay, so we can uh, convert each preferred stock to, say, five common stock or 10, 10 common stock with a certain bar value. Uh, in this conversion, you need to deal with the bar value and the additional bid in capital when you canceling or converting preferred stock to common stock, as we will see in this example. Okay, convertible preferred stock provides the exchange of preferred stock into common stock at a specified ratio, like one for Five. Yeah, and one is one preferred stock will be converted to five or one for ten. One be converted for ten, for example, and so on. Convertible stock is purchased by the investor when they want to have greater security of preferred stock, but at the same time they need to capture the market value of the stock if increased. Uh, in significant way. In recording the conversion, the amount paid in preferred is transferred to appropriate to appropriate common stock account, which is a common stock common stock paid in capital and common stock uh, in excess or paid in capital in excess of bar value. Okay, so let's see an example here. Assume that Abu Musa company issue at uh, bar value 1,000 shares of 100 bar value convertible preferred stock. One share of preferred is convertible to 10. So we have 1,000. Is, if this converted to uh, common stock, it will uh, replaced by uh, 10,000 shares of uh, $5 bar value common stock. So the 1,000 share of uh, the company of Abu Musa uh, with $100 bar value preferred stock issued at 105. So we collect 105, although the, the bar value is 100. It's, it means we have additional bid in capital $5 per share. Five dollar per share times five uh, times one thousand. It will be five thousand additional bid in capital or bid in capital in of par. And at that time, the preferred stock, uh, the bar value preferred stock, it will be one thousand times uh, one hundred. It will be one hundred thousand. So okay. Now, how we can record uh, this uh, transaction? Let's complete the exercise. They are converted into ten thousand. Shares 10,000, it is 1,000 times 10. Okay, common stock when the market value are 101 and 12 respectively. So the entry will be as follows. First of all, forget about the market value at the time of the exchange. At the time of exchange, you need to cancel to delete the preferred uh, stock according to its bar value. It's bar value. The bar value of preferred stock is how much? Yes, it is 1,000 times 100. It will be 100,000. And the bid in capital in excess of par for preferred, it will be how much? 5,000. 
1,000 times 5. Okay, times 5. You have 100,000. The referred stock will be debit. And paid in capital in excess of power will be debt for 5,000. The total is 105. Okay, this has been uh, debited or cancelled by making it debit by the bar value 100,000. 1,000 times 100. And paid in capital in excess of power will debt for uh, 5,000. Okay, then we are going to increase the common stock. We replace this 1,000 by 10,000 times 5. It will be 50. And the difference between 105 and 50 will be added to the paid in capital in excess of power common stock 55. So the entry will be preferred stock debt for 100,000. Paid in capital in excess of power preferred will be debt for 5,000. Common stock will be created for 50,000 and bid in capital in excess of common stock will be created for $55,000. Okay, uh, let's move to callable preferred stock. <coughs> callable preferred stock here uh, grants the Asian company or corporation the right to repurchase the stock or the preferred stock from the stockholders at a specified future dates at a fixed price. Usually this fixed price is more than the bar value of share. Okay? And the this call future enable corporation to eliminate the preferred stock when it has the advantage to do that. Again, again, the call or redemption price usually or frequently is above the bar value or lucidity value of the shares. So if we issued it was uh, say $100 uh, per share, we the callable value would be 110, 115, or 20. We need to give him uh, like um, compensation or to give him a carrot, okay? Just to encourage them to return it. So again here we uh, say, while convertible stock is in the privilege or in the benefit of the preferred stockholders, callable stock uh, here is the benefit of corporation. Okay, I'm going to stop here and we wish you good luck in this course and I hope that you enjoy this course uh, due to this um, uh, corona time. We are going to stop here. And we wish you all the best in your life. I wish you enjoy it, this course with us. And see you, inshallah, later on in different courses. Thank you.